Michael Collins is the great Cork hero of Ireland's War of Independence and it's the story of that struggle that British director Ken Loach is currently filming here in Cork, starring Killian Murphy and Liam Cunningham. The Wind That Takes the Barley is based on Cork's famous flying columns, but the real inspiration behind the film is even more intriguing. Hanging here in the Crawford Gallery is a painting of terrifying men prepared to die for their cause. The men who sat for Sean Keating's Men of the South during the War of Independence truce in 1921 were actual revolutionaries. The North Cork Battalion of the IRA travelled to Dublin, where they sat for the artist at the Metropolitan School of Art. The school's porters were understandably terrified to encounter these men, armed with their rifles wrapped in brown paper. Fast forward to 2005 and Bandon County Cork has been transformed. This time it's an Englishman who's representing the War of Independence. Director Ken Loach, famous for his realistic portrayal of working class heroes, has decided to tackle the thorny subject of Irish nationalism. When they start off, you start off walking faster, you start off walking more slowly up, to, up towards the soldiers, okay? I suppose the secret, I mean, of any story, and not just this one, is trying to find three dimensional characters. You know, and trying to understand what violence does to the human psyche, what it does to the human soul. And uh, so uh, I really hope that, you know, that we haven't romanticised it. You know, stories like these do have their uh, exaggerations and, um, and they can be simplified. You know, but we're very keen to try and do, you know, to avoid that. I think you avoid doing that by doing the research well. So you, you can go down to Cavanagh's with this gentleman and, and that lady. OK, off you go then. His, uh, his track record uh, appears, he, he has his, a very good reputation. Yeah, his, uh, he, he has an excellent in, reputation. In, all, we all we would want is an authentic, not to distort our history, you know? And provided our history is not distorted, we have no fear. I'm Dan the train driver. Um, he's, uh, he was a fellow who was involved in the Dublin lockout in 1913 and kind of, I suppose he became very politicised as a result of all the beatings and, and, and basically the way the, 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 uh, the working classes were treated at that time and, um, and sort of educated himself uh, and as a result got involved in a struggle and, uh, and ends up down in Cork because he's a train driver and becomes a part of, of the... Uh, the third brigade of the flying column. One of the reasons that we wanted to make this film is that the story is just as relevant to Britain as it is to Ireland. It's about, just as much about the British imperialist approach to Ireland as it is about the Irish. So it's our story too. And I think as Brits, we're somewhat responsible for what happened here. And I think that it's good for us to explore what did happen. So that's what I would say qualifies us to make a film about Ireland. And I think at the very least it's a it's a history lesson. And at best I think it's in a sense a love letter to the people who, who have who have given us the freedoms that we have today.